Hey guys, Steve Welch here, being with Toyota in Nashville. Wanted to show you guys something that's actually really cool that I just learned about the new 2022 Toyota Tundra. All right, so looking behind me here, this is a beautiful, beautiful Toyota Tundra, of course. Um, so one of the things that I just found out about it and uh, definitely really love about this truck. So you have an approach angle here of 21 inches, almost two feet that you can approach something and clear it, of course. So 21 inches, right? Um, well, the problem that normally comes to play when you have an approach angle of that height is that you have lesser fuel economy because you can get air that can go under the vehicle um, and actually cost you fuel economy. So um, a lot of manufacturers, they put air dams down there. So um, like if you look over there at that, uh, that Tacoma that's over there, you can see it's got an air dam. I'll kind of walk over here and you can kind of peek at it. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, like you can see, there's a little air dam down there. It helps to keep it a little bit lower to the ground um, to help keep air from flowing underneath it. So um, you might ask the question, well, why didn't they do that to the Tundra? And there's a really cool answer for that. And a really cool answer is that they did. So um, <laughs> one of the cool things about the Tundra is you're always finding things on it that you didn't quite know, right? So um, there's actually an air dam under this vehicle that will drop when you hit 30 miles per hour. All right, so, and. I wanted to show you guys this thing, all right? So if you look underneath the vehicle, you can see, and I'm gonna try to make this look pretty good, right here is an air dam, all right? That uh, you can look at, you can kind of see all the way across there, that air dam will actually drop um, once you're over that 30 mile per hour range and uh, help to uh, limit the airflow under the vehicle to make sure that uh, you get the most fuel economy that you can. Um, there's actually something else that I'll show you too here. If you look inside the grill, you'll see that there's these little uh, baffles, all right? You can kind of see them in there, the little baffles are kind of wiggling around in there. These things are actually able to close to limit airflow to the engine if you don't need the airflow. Um, so what it'll do is it'll help to keep the air from flowing through if uh, you can gain the extra fuel economy if you don't need that airflow. So that's something else to know that you have on there. So um, I did wanna show you guys though, um, talking back about the air dam, that there is a maintenance mode on the air dam and there's a way to drop it. So I'm gonna actually show you how to drop it and uh, I'm gonna show you in a couple different ways here. So um, I'm gonna show you, not in a couple different ways, I'm gonna show you a couple things that you gotta know in order to drop it. All right, so first off, you got to turn it on all the way to the on position. So you hit that twice if you're not gonna have it running. All right, so there's accessory and then there's the on, all right? So once you've turned it on, right, everything fires up, turn it back off and hold this up, your windshield wiper switch for 10 seconds, all right? So once you hold it up for 10 seconds, what's gonna happen is it's gonna drop that air dam down front, all right? So now if you look, and I'm gonna walk off this back here, you're gonna be able to see it. Now you can see the air dam underneath your new Tundra, all right? So really cool little feature that it can drop that air dam down there. Um, and if you wanna wash it, you know, if you're washing your truck, don't forget to wash your air dam, all right? Because that's gonna have dropped down, you're gonna have bugs and stuff I'm sure on there. But uh, it's just a really cool thing that you can drop that down. And then if you wanna bring it back up, bringing it back up's pretty easy too. You just have to start the car and then put it in gear. Once you've put that in gear, you can shut it back off, right? Once you shut it back off, you'll know that it's back up, all right? So what I wanna do for you guys here too is that I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this up and bear with me a little bit here as I do this. But I wanted to show you what it looks like when it comes down because it's actually kinda of cool to watch. All right, so I'm gonna have this set up and I'm gonna go and do the exact thing that I did before. And then you can see that it has now dropped down underneath your tundra. So um, you've got that uh, that's dropped down there. So now I'm going to show you uh, when it comes back up.
there you go. So the air dam on your Tundra is there and it does exist and it will help you with your fuel economy and more things to know about the new 2022 Toyota Tundra. Now I will tell you that this is not on the SR or the SR5 off-road, but I believe it's on everything else um, with the possible exception of the Pro. Not positive on that one yet. I don't think it's gonna be on the Pro, but there you go, <laughs> new Tundra. Steve Welch, Bima Toyota, downtown Nashville. Like, subscribe, appreciate it, you guys. Uh, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon, bye.